Hi, I'm Adam Kunzmiller with RPG Geek at Gen Con 2013, and I'm here with James Wyatt with Wizards of the Coast Development, and we're here to talk about Murder in Boulder's Gate. James, let's talk about this. What do we have here? This is an adventure, um, pretty much unlike anything we've ever done before. Uh, it takes place in the city of Baldur's Gate. A lot of it harkens back to the Baldur's Gate computer game from the early 80s. Um, the symbol here will be recognizable to a lot of people who sure. played that game. It's the symbol of Baal, the god of murder. So murder, Baldur's Gate go together like peanut butter and chocolate. Um, when I say it's unlike anything we've done before, it's uh, really graphically fantastic, in my humble opinion. We included <laughs> a Dungeon Master screen that has on the outside wow. a map of the city for the player reference some uh, art of key NPCs and kind of go through key this locations. Here. This is Worms Crossing, the bridge across the river here. Uh, little zoom in pictures of key locations. More and more, and then little Callum Shan and some more of the NPCs associated with it. So on the inside, instead of doing the typical DM screen thing of all the charts and tables you oh, never really wow. look at, it's another map of the city. This is beautiful. Um, with key locations all uh, numbered and labeled, and then useful tables like, I need an NPC name and I can't think of something. Or, <laughs> what's a random encounter on the street to keep things moving and interesting? Ranks of the various organizations in the uh, city. So Very that's, cool. that's just the screen. Lets you cover quite a bit, too. Yes. <laughs> and I'm just getting started. So the adventure itself has two books in it, uh, a 64-page campaign guide and a 32-page adventure book. So the campaign guide um, really is just a resource about Baldur's Gate. Any adventure you want to play here, if you finish this adventure and want to keep playing in Baldur's Gate, you can do that for pretty much ever so with, if, with this book. So if players aren't necessarily old time fans that know everything about Baldur's Gate, they shouldn't necessarily shy away because everything right. will be here for right. them. Uh, including some information about the events of the Baldur's Gate computer game. Um, those who are fans might love this reference of the statue. It's a huge statue at the entrance of the uh, market square showing this beloved ranger holding a uh, pygmy giant space hamster named Boo. <laughs> can, we uh, get, can we get more zoomed in on this? <laughs> when I ran uh, a part of this adventure yesterday, I invented an inscription on the bottom that says, Go for the eyes, Boo, because that was this <laughs> character's uh, signature line. Nice. Um, we also kind of went overboard with graphics in this book as well, trying to really evoke the, the sense of the city, the flavor of it as a fog-shrouded but very cosmopolitan um, place. Again, rich maps, um, lots of detail, stuff like that. So that's the campaign book. Then there's the adventure book itself, um, which does tell a very specific story within the city, um, which basically involves three NPC characters who might end up being villains, um, and any one of them might end up in a very, very villainous situation. I don't want to give away too much here. Sure, sure. Um, trying to talk no around spoil that. No spoiler alerts here. Right. Um, <clears throat> the weird thing about this book is there's no statistics in it. And that's because they're all online. We made statistics available for D&D 3.5, 4th edition, and D&D Next in the current state of the playtest. So, so you can use this material for whichever one of those preferred systems right. you want to play in. Right. Oh, that's great. We will uh, we'll see in here in various places, if I can even find one here, Patriar Youths is in boldface. That means it's... You can go look up online right. all of their stats. Right. Um, similarly, we'll talk about making a hard strength check and the online uh, file will tell you what the DC is for that check depending on which system you're using. So um, it's just an incredibly flexible product rich with detail about the city um, and full of, of really pretty incredible adventure opportunities. Very cool. Um, tied into that, this little booklet here is the uh, launch event that we're running here at the show. Um, it's basically the first encounter of this adventure, expanded uh, a little bit to take up a couple of hours. So is this um, uh, an, a ticketed event that people can run at Gen Con? Yes. Okay. Um, it is also the kickoff for this coming season of D&D Encounters in in-store play. Uh, so Encounters over the next two or two and a half months will be playing through Murder in Baldur's Gate. Um, we've made a, a streamlined version of the adventure available, but you can also just run it straight out of the, the book as it is. Okay, in store. cool. So when can players expect to get this in their hands? Um, so this, this booklet itself is part of a, a in-store package that we send to stores running the event. The adventure comes out I should know this. Uh, I believe it's next week. So very soon. Very soon. Great. All right. Well, and that was Murder in Baldur's Gate.